How to Troubleshoot a Longini Sprinkler Valve The Longini 54000 automatic sprinkler valve interfaces with the Longini timer or console, controlling water flow to underground sprinkler circuits. The 54000 supplies 5 to 20 gallons per minute at an operating pressure of 10 to 150 pounds per square inch. Its valve solenoid operates on 19 to 24 volt input from the timer or controller. Cable length from controller to valve can be up to 800 feet for 18 gauge multi-conductor wire or up to 2000 feet for 14 gauge wire. Problems in Longini sprinkler valves can usually be isolated to either the timer or the valve solenoid. Things you will need Screwdriver Voltmeter Timer does not open valve Manually open the valve handle, and determine if water is flowing into the circuit. Use a voltmeter to check for voltage at the valve solenoid. If the valve solenoid is getting voltage from the timer but not opening, replace the solenoid. Check for voltage at the output terminals of the timer. If there is voltage at the timer but no voltage at the solenoid, replace the multi-conductor sprinkler cable. If there is no voltage at the timer output terminals, replace the timer. Valve does not open manually. Determine whether water is reaching the valve. Open the bleed screw at the valve to see if water spurts out. If there is no bleed screw, unscrew the solenoid slowly and look for water leaking. Make sure the main water shutoff valve is open. Make sure the flow control on the valve is open. Replace the valve, if none of the above actions remedies the problem. Valve does not shut off. Disconnect one of the cable conductors from the timer. If the valve closes, evaluate problems in the timer. Turn off the water supply. Unscrew the top of the valve, and remove the diaphragm. Turn on the water supply, and flush the system for 15 seconds. Examine the diaphragm for defects. Remove the solenoid, and clean any debris or obstructions from its ports. Reassemble the valve, and turn on the water. Valve does not completely shut off. Unscrew the top of the valve, and remove the diaphragm. Turn on the water supply, and flush the system for 15 seconds. Examine the diaphragm for defects. Remove the solenoid, and clean any debris or obstructions from its ports. Reassemble the valve, and turn on the water. Valve leaks at the cap. Locate the highest sprinkler head in the circuit, and measure its elevation above ground. Measure the elevation of the valve cap above ground. Make sure the valve cap is at least 6 inches higher than the highest sprinkler head in the circuit, to prevent siphoning.